Air taking place across the nation and right here in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania's primary was moved to June 2nd, one month from today. The coronavirus is also impacting how those running for public office campaign for voter support. The ITM's Andy Mahalshik reports tonight from your local election headquarters. These are images that will not be seen during this election year because of the coronavirus. Large crowds of people attending campaign rallies. Rallies have been a big part of seeking the support of voters as well as raising money for their campaigns. Also gone this year, thanks to COVID-19, is the person-to-person -person contact candidates normally have at events like fairs and community festivals. Matt Cartwright is seeking re-election in the 8th Congressional District. People who get into politics do it because they like people. Uh, I sure do, and I love getting out and campaigning and going to festivals and fairs and parades and, uh, and, uh, and getting around. Um, so I'm going to miss that. I hope, I hope we can get back to that uh, sooner rather than later. Six candidates are seeking the GOP nomination to oppose Cartwright in November. They, like Cartwright, are using social media to get their message out. It's been very unique, to say the least. Uh, we haven't done much campaigning except for reaching out through the phone. Today we're in Carbondale. We're dropping off signs to supporters. We're going to get through this COVID crisis. We've, we've kept engaging on Facebook, on TV, on radio. All you can do is keep talking to the voters. Let them know how you feel. We're going to get this economy back open. Oftentimes it's going to be the name you know. Political science professor Dr. David Sosar says candidates will now have to use television and radio more than they might have otherwise. And he argues that social media may not reach many of our older voters. You've got a lot of social media that people have to use, uh, which, which creates a problem uh, uh, for a lot of people who are just not used to it yet. And other candidates I spoke with today say they're confident that voters will research each and every candidate from whatever source before making an informed decision. Reporting from your local election headquarters, Andy Mahal, Chicago Witness News. And you can hear from all of the candidates in the races for the 8th and 9th congressional districts starting next weekend on Newsmakers from your local election headquarters and PAHomepage.com.